Okay, for 10.3, our learning goal is I can use chords of circles to find lengths and also arc measures. Just a quick reminder on what a chord is. A chord is a segment whose endpoints are on the circle. And so right here we have a chord, endpoints are on the circle. Uh, when you have a chord, it divides the circle into two arcs. So in this case, I've got a major arc, right, bigger than a semicircle, and a minor arc. So it's smaller than a semicircle. Okay, or we can have a chord like this one where you know they're they are semicircles. Here is our first three theorems. So the first one, we'll talk about it first. This the last two go together. But what the first one says is in the same circle or in congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. So what it's saying is if chord AB is congru congruent to chord CD, that means the arcs that they cut off also have to be congruent. So those two have to be congruent to each other. And that's true if the two chords are congruent in the same circle. It's also true if I take two circles, if the circles are congruent, so let's say that that circle is congruent to that circle. If their chords are congruent, then their arcs have to be congruent. Um, by the way, the if and the only if means it goes both ways. So if the chords are congruent, the arcs are congruent, that means the chords are congruent also. Make sure you have that written down. These next two theorems go together. So if you look at the first one, it says if a diameter of a circle is perpendicular to a chord. So this is a diameter, right? It passes through the center. If it is perpendicular to a chord, then it cuts the chord in half, and it also cuts the arc in half. So it has to be a diameter, it has to be perpendicular to the chord, then it cuts the chord in half and the arc in half. The last theorem, not the last one for the section, but the last one here, the third one, says if one chord of a circle is perpendicular bisector, so here's the chord, say a chord SQ, is the perpendicular bisector, it cuts it in half, and it's perpendicular, then the first chord is a diameter. So that means SQ has to pass through the center. It has to be a diameter. So that's just going backwards. Instead of saying if it's a diameter and perpendicular, it cuts the chord and the arcs in half. It's saying if it cuts the chords in half and it's perpendicular, then it has to be a diameter. So a couple problems. So this one tells us angle or circle P and circle Q are congruent. Uh, we can also see that because their radii are congruent. Then it tells me that FG is congruent to JK. So those two are congruent to each other. Um, and it tells me JK is 80 degrees. It wants me to find FG. That's this arc right here. Well, if the chords are congruent and the circles are congruent, that means the arcs are also congruent, 80 degrees. This one wants me to find HK, the HK which is the, the chord. So how long is that chord? Uh, let's do that first, then it wants me to find the arc HK. Let's we'll start with the chord. Well, if you look at this, is the diameter, because it goes to the center, and it's perpendicular. That means it has to cut that chord in half. So this side has to be 7, 7 and 7. So the answer to this one is 14, all the way across. Then it wants me to find arc HK. So arc HK is up here. So again, if this is the diameter, and, oops, sorry, and it's perpendicular, then it has to cut that chord in half. That means that 11x has to equal the 70 plus x. So let's just solve that. Let's minus the x over 10x equals 70. Divide by 10. So x is equal to 7. Now just make sure you answer the question. It wasn't asking for x. It wanted me to know the length of that entire arc. So if I plug 7 back in, I get 77 for this half. That half has to be 77 also. So all together, 154 degrees is the measure of that arc. We're going to skip over that one. Uh, you guys try these four problems. So work, pause the video, work through them, and then I'll go through them and you can check your answer. So one says that the measure of AB is 110. It wants me to find the measure of BC. Well, it shows me that those are both equal to 9, both chords, so they're congruent. 
that means the arcs have to be congruent. That means BC has to be 110 degrees also. Number two is a little trickier. It says uh, AC is 150, 150, and it wants me to find the measure of arc uh, AB. Well, we still know those are equal. That means those, those have to be equal. Um, that means if I could find this measure all the way around there, I could cut it in half. Well, we can do that because I can go 360 all the way around the circle minus the 150. Uh, that's 210. And then that has to be that entire blue arc right there. To find just AB, I'm going to cut that in half in. So the answer to that one's going to be 105 degrees. Okay, look at 3 and 4. It says find the indicated um, length. 3 says to find CE. So if I'm looking for CE, first of all, notice that this is a diameter. It goes through the center and it is perpendicular. So we know that those cords are cut in half. So if that one's 5, that one's 5, so CE would have to be 10. And then the measure of arc CE, well that arc, again, also has to be cut in half. That means that 9x has to equal 80 minus x. We just need to solve that, so I'm going to add the x over. So 10x equals 80, divide by 10. And again, make sure you answer the question, it doesn't want x, it wants the measure of arc CE. So plug it 8 back in, this would be 72, this would be 72, uh, 100 and 144 degrees be the measure of arc CE. Okay, the last theorem is this one. It says in the same circle or in congruent circles, two chords are congruent if and only if they are equal distance from the center. So before we talk about that theorem, I just want to remind you, if you have a point and you have a line, if you're asked to measure the distance between the point and the line, you always measure the perpendicular distance. Right? We don't measure diagonally like that, you know, or like that, or like that. It's always the perpendicular distance that you measure across there. So that's why if you look at this diagram, right, it tells us if this chord, CD, is congruent to chord AB, the perpendicular, that distance right there, notice how it's perpendicular, that distance have to be congruent. In other words, if those are equal to those, that means that that little segment has to be equal to that little segment. The same thing's true if you have two congruent triangles, right? If these chords are equal, then their distance, their perpendicular distance, that distance right there has to be congruent to, has to be congruent to that distance right there. Okay, they have to be the same. Okay, so if we look at this problem, so th this is the probably the trickiest problem in the whole assignment. So it says QR is equal to ST. So we've got QR, we know it's equal to ST. Uh, and it tells us that they're both equal to 16. One thing I want to point out is look at that. That's the diameter of the circle, and it's perpendicular. So if we use that theorem from earlier, that means that these have to be bisected. So if the whole thing is 16, uh, each of these have to be 8 going across there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase some of this and just say we know that this piece is 8 and that piece is 8. What we also know, too, is if those chords are congruent, they have to be the same distance from both from the center. So that means that 2x has to equal 5x minus 9. So let's see, we minus the 5x over, I get negative 3x equals negative 9. Divide by negative 3. Uh, x is equal to a positive 3. So that means, if I come back in here, got that segment's 8, that segment's 8. If I plug the 3 back in, this one's equal to 6, right? That, one, that one's equal to 6 right there. Now, it wasn't asking us for any of those. So what it's actually asking us is, what's the radius? So this is the trickiest part of the whole thing, is once I have all that information, I want to draw a radius, but I want to make a right triangle. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to draw the radius from the center C to point Q. You could also go to point R if you wanted. The reason why is because now I have a right triangle that's formed. I'm going to just draw that off to the side. There's my right triangle. Right, we've got uh, U and C and Q. We know this side is 8, this side is 6. I want to find the radius. I want to find that length right there. So just use Pythagorean theorem. So R squared equals 8 squared plus 6 squared. And that comes out to be 100. You take the square root. So my answer is the radius is equal to 10. So that's the trickiest part. Uh, I'll show you another example. I'll let you guys try one, and then we'll go through one more example here. 
Uh, you guys try this one right here. So work through it on your own, and then we'll, uh, I'll go, so pause it, work through it, and then I'll go through it with you. So it says JK is equal to LM, so I know my two chords are congruent. Um, and they're equal to 24. This is the diameter, and it's perpendicular, so I have to cut that chord in half. So this would be 12, and that would be 12. We also know, because the two chords are equal, we also know that this segment right here and that segment right there have to be equal. That have to be the same distance from the center. So that's going to allow me to solve for x. I can go 3x has to equal 7x minus 12. Minus 7x over, divide by negative 4, so x is equal to 3. So if we plug 3 back in here, I end up with this side is equal to 9. Okay, now it's asking me to find the radius. This is the part usually we miss. It's the trickiest part. Is draw the radius from point J to the center N. And the reason why is because now I have a right triangle and I can solve for R right there. So I'm going to go R squared is equal to 12 squared plus 9 squared. Uh, 12 squared plus 9 squared I think is 225. Take the square root. So I'm pretty sure R comes out to be 15 is the radius. Just remember that little trick of drawing the radius there, forming that right triangle, and that will allow, allow you to solve it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.